431, PMA 431, source level debugging. So I'm going to first start by compiling code. The um, Flare VM comes with Microsoft C++ build tools in it. Developer tools, C++ build tools, and we're going to use x64 native build. And you always have to launch the command prompt here to get in the right directory in the right environment. And now I can move to where I made my thing, which was my app. I just copied some app from some blog, of course. And so there it is, notepad myapp.cpp. This is just a little thing that does some, creates a couple variables and messes with them. It's got main and my function, not for no particularly good reason, just so we have something to play with. All right. And uh, if you look at the instructions, you first compile it without symbols, which is what this will do. And then when you load it in the debugger, you'll see it doesn't have symbols. Uh, but if you compile it with symbols, which is what I did later, you use this slash zi. I think that's the thing that does it. Then you'll get a compile with symbols, and then you get more features, and you see now it's created these PDB files, and those are the symbols. So when we load this thing in WinDebug, we can actually do source level debugging. It has symbols, and it's connected to the C program that's there. So when I launch uh, WinDebug, oops, got to hit start, and WinDebug. All right. And now I run that program inside WinDebug, just like you would in Ollie. File, launch executable, and it was C, my app, my app. OK. And now the app loads, and it stops here inside ntdil. And you see it's uh, four or five labels down in ntdil. It's at the debugger break again. And now I can find my symbols x my app bang star main star looking for things called main. And now it finds them various things called main in my app. All right, so I can, the one I want is my app main, the first one up here. So I can put a breakpoint there with BU. This is just the same stuff we did in Ollie Debug to make it to uh, where the program starts. Now I do go. I can use G to do that. Now I get to here and see now it shows me C source code right here. So I'm at this line, I've made it to main. This is where it starts. And it shows me the code right there, which is pretty nice. And I can view locals down here. I chose them by accident earlier, but there, they're back. And I can dock them down here. There we go. There. Oops. Somehow I, all right, the stack is there and locals are there. There is some way to split it in half. But anyway, what I care about right now is the locals. So I have two variables, A and B. And here they are. They're starting at zero, although when I did this in an earlier version of Windows 10, they started with random numbers because I haven't, um, implemented them yet. Now I can step through the code. If I go home, I've got step into and step over. So if I do step into, it will go to the next line, A equals 2. And it's not executed until I do one more. Now it is set A to 2. Now it is set B to 0. Now it's going to call my function and so on. So as I go ahead, now it moves into my function to find some variables. And here, it's going to try to divide x by p2, and x is 7, and p2 is 0. So now I'm going to get an error. And you see here a divide by 0 error. So that created an exception. All right. Anyway, that's source code debugging, which is nice when you're writing your own programs.